Every single emotion denied by the parent will be felt and experienced in full by the child. Now, you think of the number of emotions that you're denying right at the moment. Uh, for, all, for many of us, there's like 50 of them right at the moment, one moment, you know. And every single one of those emotions your child is experiencing in full right at that moment. It's a scary proposition, isn't it, when you think about it, what's actually passing through the child. Now, the reason why is this. Here's your soul. You can think of your emotions. Your emotions are energy in motion. Does that make sense? Emotions, E for energy in motion. Energy in motion is your emotions. Now, when you stop the energy from being in motion, in other words, you prevent the emotion, what's happening at that point, instead of the emotion passing through you, which is where it, meant, where it has to pass for you to own it, it gets reflected out like a great big antenna to the universe. So let's say, let's say I have some anger in me and I don't allow myself to feel my anger, I suppress my anger by telling myself that I'm not really angry. So let's say I'm doing that. Right at that moment, that anger is being reflected to the universe to the biggest possible extent that it could be coming from us because I'm not actually owning it and feeling it myself. That means that every single person around us will feel that anger. Now let's say for a moment that I'm a mother, so this soul is a mother soul, and my child happens to be a son, and this anger that I have is with men. What do you think my son's going to be feeling? He's going to be feeling constantly that his mother is always angry with him. Does that make sense? Until mum owns that emotion, until she actually feels the emotion pass through her and actually owns it, the son, and of course every other male in the universe, but the son is the most sensitive, right? He's the most sensitive soul, he's just a little soul. So he's going to be the most sensitive male towards this anger getting passed around. Can you see what's going on there? That is the result of the parent's denial of this emotion that needs to flow through her. She's now, it's now projected out to the universe and the most sensitive soul in her nearest vicinity is going to be her son if she has one. And he is going to experience this anger. He's going to feel it. Now, he might be just born. He might be not even able to verbalise the fact, don't even know what's really going on. He's just going to feel mum's anger with men. And so, can you see why he might be crying the moment he's born? Screaming his head off, in fact. Can you see it straight away? There's these emotions in him that he's trying to let go of, acting out. He's just afraid in many cases. Now, what he will probably try to do then during his life is he'll learn that actually, if I give my mum all of my attention and time, she feels less anger with me. Does that make sense? So what's now happening is it's set up this codependency, this codependency between the mother and the child. She's angry with men and he's realised that the only way for him to lessen her anger with men is for him, because he's a male child, give, to give her something that calms her down, that makes her feel less angry with men. So this child will most likely grow up being a very, very conciliatory male towards women and he will let women just run over the top of him. And imagine throughout his relationships what will happen there. One after the other, he'll just let women dominate him. And all they need to do is project a little bit of anger at him, and he's straight into that mode of calming everything down, making everything nice. Can you see that? Just, that? just that one emotion projected at the sun. Now, if the mum lets this emotion pass through her, she will find underneath the anger with men, 
there's a lot of sadness with men, right? She will actually have herself a good, some good cries and part, let that emotion pass through. When that happens, there's none of this emotion getting projected at her son. In fact, there'll be another emotion. Oh, I love men. Right? Getting passed to her son. Now what do you think the son's going to feel? He's going to feel loved no matter where he is. He's going to be feel loved by a woman wherever he is and wherever he goes. That's going to be pretty powerful, don't you think, in terms of his relationships with other people? If it's a real love, not a love based on need. Can you see just, just owning an emotion of what it does? Yeah. Can you see what denying emotion does? Now, the biggest issue is denial of emotion in your life. That's the biggest thing that affects your children. The next biggest thing is when you deny them the experience of that emotion. So they immediately feel it when you're not expressing it. And then often they want to act that out. And then often parents say, stop being loud, stop being naughty, and, and shut down all that emotion that they're just trying to express that they're picking up from their environment. So to give you an example of that, let's say the mum is angry with me and she doesn't want to give love to men. So in other words, if you're angry with someone, it's very hard to want to love them, isn't it? So she doesn't want to love a man. So, so no love goes towards, she doesn't want to love a man. So even though she's caring for her newborn baby who's a male baby, the feeling coming from the mother to the child is, I don't really love you. That's the feeling the child is feeling. You follow me? It's based on the feelings she's feeling. Now, she can deal with that feeling and, and you know, it'll be a totally different situation. But until she deals with this feeling, this child is going to do one of two things based on its personality. One thing is that it, it'll feel unloved. And so it may actually then react in anger to the mother. Do you follow me? Getting angry with mum because she, she doesn't love me. He doesn't know why. It feels unjust. She, he's not loved and she doesn't, he doesn't understand the, the causes. Now, the other thing he might do is try now to earn her love. So he does things for mummy. So he's not feeling love from mummy, so he goes up and gives mummy a hug all the time. So a lot of times we as parents we say, oh, it's lovely, our child always comes up and gives me a hug all the time. Every day that happens, they love me so much, isn't it wonderful? In reality, the child is actually feeling quite insecure and feels like mummy feels unloved and I've got to love her. Because most of the time the child is not allowed to be experiencing its own emotion, it's actually feeling your emotion and responding to your emotion. And you can test it easily. All you need to do at that moment that you feel these things happening is put it into test and, so, and, and do something like, do I feel unloved? Yes, let's own that. Let's notice what happens to my child without me saying anything to them. And you'll find things will change quite rapidly between what's happening in the child. 